Last video we looked at uh, rapid acting insulin preparations. Example insulin dispro, insulin aspart and insulin glulicin. In this video we want to look at short acting insulin preparations. Before that I just wanted to cover one small thing for you. If you were wondering what new human NPH insulin is, it is human neutral protein hagedorn insulin. Okay, in case you are just wondering what it is, it is neutral protein hagedorn. Okay. Now we are moving on to short acting insulin. Okay, I have a small thing to tell you here. These are um, in the injection solution in the bottle, they will self aggregate to form hexamers around zinc ions. Okay. Then what happens after you inject them into the, into the person subcutaneously, the insulin monomers are released gradually by dilution. So absorption occurs slowly. That is why it is short acting. Okay. The monomers are released gradually by dilution. That is why it is that is why it is going to be short acting. Now here there is an extra thing. What is that? Zinc. Please make a note here. Zinc is there. Okay. Now moving on. The onset of action is 60 to 30 minutes. Peak is in 2 to 4 hours and duration 6 to 8 hours. Okay. This you should know. Just recall what you saw in rapid acting. Onset is 5 to 15 minutes. Peak was in 1 hour and duration was 4 hours. Okay. This much you will have to tell. You will have to remember for all of these. Onset 5 to 15 for rapid. Peak was after 1 hour. Duration, total duration 4 hours. Here, short acting. Onset is 30 to 60 minutes. Peak is 2 to 4 hours. Duration 6 to 8 hours. Okay. Then what else you should know here? Okay. Um, they are saying that it is soluble. Okay. Crystalline zinc insulin. And uh, it can be administered 30 to 45 minutes before a meal. So, administer 30 to 45 minutes before meal. I am just trying to draw a analogy between, you know, there is something common between onset and administration. See, onset 30 to 60 minutes, administer 30 to 45 minutes before me. In rapid acting, onset of action 5 to 15 minutes, administer just before me. Okay, so let us take the examples for this one now. Regular soluble insulin, crystalline. So, you will give example. Example will be regular soluble insulin or crystalline zinc insulin. Correct? Regular soluble. The soluble word they are using here. Soluble. Regular soluble insulin or crystalline zinc insulin. Okay? Now, can we move on to the next one? Intermediate acting insulins actually these are cloudy in appearance okay cloudy in appearance these are the only ones which are cloudy in appearance all the others are actually clear in appearance others were till now whatever you saw and whatever you see afterwards long acting also they'll be clear okay others were clear okay only intermediate acting insulins are cloudy in appearance onset Onset is 1 to 2 hour. Peak will you will reach in 8 to 10 hours. And duration will be for a whole day. 20 to 24 hours. Okay. Let us look at examples. You have insulin, zinc. Suspension or it's called as lente. Okay, then you have NPH, neutral protein hagedorn insulin or isophane insulin. So, did you, did you get the examples? Insulin 
zinc suspension or lente and then you have NPH that is neutral protein hagedorn isophane insulin or isophane insulin okay let's move on to the next one long acting insulins long acting insulins see their onset will be 2 to 4 hours let's say peak is peakless and duration is for a whole day quite easy to remember right what are the examples look at the examples now the examples are insulin glargine insulin detimir let us look at specific points about insulin glargine okay insulin glargine see you should not mix this with others because it has an acidic ph it will uh, you can administer this only once daily actually it's once daily should come under glargine okay administer once daily is enough for glargine it lowers the risk of nocturnal hypoglycemia okay fasting blood glucose levels are better controlled than nph okay and uh, you should avoid this in pregnant diabetics avoid in pregnant diabetics don't give glargine to pregnant women okay then let us go move on to insulin detimer some specific things about detimer it binds to albumin okay it binds to albumin and uh, prolonged duration of action will be there because it binds to plasma albumin. It binds to plasma albumin. So, it will have prolonged duration of action. In this also almost peakless it will be. But you should give twice daily. You should administer twice daily. Usually given twice daily. Unlike glargine which is given once daily. Okay, just to close this, I would like to add some information here. Concentrations of uh, insulin available, 100 units per ml, 40 units per ml. 500 is only for regular, it is nothing that you have to know. Mixed insulin preparations. <clears throat> See, you can mix some in preparations like intermediate can be fixed, uh, mixed with short and rapid. However, long acting, you should never mix, okay. Now, intermediate means what? NPH, right? Now, NPH you can mix with regular, that is short. Short is regu uh, regular, right? And NPH you can mix with rapid insulin, Lispro, insulin, aspart. You can mix, but premixed will not come, okay? But NPH for regular, this mixture premixed is available. Is this clear? I know it's a little too much. Just try to understand if you can, okay? You can mix them in the same syringe. All these things you can mix. Premixed is available only for NPH and regular. Now, as premixed are not available for these, they have done something to that also. What they have done? They have put protein plus insulin lispro and made something new called NPL. That is neutral protein lispro. Protein plus insulin as part. <coughs> they have made neutral protein as part. And these are also available as 75% NPL plus 25% insulin lispro. All such combinations are available. Okay, so a lot of combinations are available. I have put them here. And just to close, long acting should not be mixed. Okay, I think it's time to revise this uh, totally. <clears throat> we have looked at insulin preparations <clears throat> types. Earlier, they were using beef insulin, pig insulin. They are immunogenic. They are not used anymore. There was one more thing called as monocomponent insulin, which is nothing but the purified porcine insulin. Human insulin uh, from uh, E. coli yeast via recombinant DNA technology. Same amino acid sequence will be there. Least aminogenic, less insulin resistance, less dis lipodystrophy at the site of injection. Examples, human regular insulin, human NPH insulin, purified human insulins. However, they have modified some amino acid sequence and they use... Uh, insulin that is uh, strange because they want to change the pharmacokinetics to rapid short 
intermediate, long acting, etc. Now you have rapid, short, intermediate and long acting. Rapid acting, here onset of action you should know few minutes. Peak will come in one hour, duration will be four hours. Examples, insulin, Lispro, insulin, Aspart, insulin, Glulicin. Short acting, examples you should know regular soluble insulin, crystalline zinc insulin, both are same. Regular insulin means it will be short acting. Just remember, regular insulin if they say it is short acting. Soluble they may or may not tell. Okay. So as soon as they say regular insulin, you should know it's short acting. It will have an onset of few uh, minutes, like 30 to 60 minutes. You can uh, achieve peak within 2 to 4 hours. Duration will be 6 to 8 hours. As soon as you give it, what will happen? The monomers are released gradually by dilution and hence it will be short acting. Coming to intermediate acting, they are cloudy in appearance. Everything else is clear. Only intermediate are cloudy. Here you have example will be NPH. NPH is intermediate. Remember that. Just go on adding some time here. NPH ice or it is also called as isophane insulin. Insulin zinc suspension or lente. Zinc suspension is also intermediate. Long acting insulin examples. Let me tell you insulin glargine, insulin detinver. You should not mix them with other types of insulin. They are almost peakless. They work for a whole day. So, you, they will lower the risk of nocturnal hypoglycemia, etc. Concentrations, I told you, usually 100 units per ml or 40 units per ml you will get. Mixed insulin preparations, you should not mix long acting. Intermediate, short acting or rapid acting can be mixed. So, intermediate with short, intermediate with rapid you can mix. So, you will usually mix NPH with regular. NPH with insulin Lispro, insulin, NPH with insulin as part. These you will mix. Premixed you will get for uh, NPH plus regular. Okay. And uh, some other things they have found out because premixed is not available for these. They have included protein uh, into in insulin Lispro and made NPL that is neutral protein Lispro. Please wake up. I know it's a lot. Okay, take a deep breath, continue in protein plus insulin as part, NPA that is neutral protein as part. Okay. What is the same thing they have mixed in different different ratios? Good to go? Very good. Bye-bye.